this is the energy vibration reading um, the general energy vibration reading for the month of February 2019 and I want to say to you, each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back let's look and see what is going to be happening in this month okay um so the month of um, month of February is really 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 um, the change of cards um, on the 19th of February we have the other blue um, blood moon and um, I got a message from someone that is saying um, you know it is this and it's that but the thing is that three blood moons coming up in a month in um, in three months behind each other is very serious okay so whatever it is um, that people are not understanding is that having um, three blood moon coming up to each other coming up after each other is very important for you guys to realize that there is about to be a shift of consciousness okay so month of February is another water month it is the energy of the high princess okay it is the energy of the high princess and with the energy of the high princess what it's all about it's about materialistic um, things but I princess is intuition secrets things that was hidden is going to be coming out in this month of February so be aware and be aligned with these energies because this is what is going to be transpiring so what you guys should be um, aware and back yourself for this uh, for a lot of transition between January and the full moon reading is out so go pick up the full moon reading because the full moon readings are very important um, because the ages are the changes of the planet and the environment of the planet these readings are very important so go pick up the full moon reading okay the full moon reading is from the 15th of January until the 15th of February now in February with the blood moon that that is coming up on the 19th of February you have to be aware you have to be understanding what is going to be happening um, the blood moon on the 19th of February has something to do with fire okay it's gonna to have to do with fire and uh, what is transparent is that the Empress and the devil comes up um, with the eye princess so it's going to be something about your materialistic world okay because once the Empress and the devil comes up um, the Empress and the devil comes up to help out in the month of February that has to do with your materialistic world okay so there could be deception about your financial stability and all that sort of a thing so you have to be um, very 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 careful um, um, at this time in the month of February okay so this is why we bring forward the energy vibration um, to show you what is happening so uh, February is going to be a very water month um, it's going to be month of the Pisces because the I princess is the energy vibration of the Pisces so for you Pisces um, you have to check out your own um, zodiac energy vibration to see what is going to be transpiring with you Pisces because um, the month of February has the energy vibration of the I princess and the I princess rules the energy of the Pisces so um, that is going to be happening so be aware um, whatever the situation is um, just um, be aware of what is transpiring um, because with the energy of um, the devil and the Empress that means that it has something to do with your materialistic world okay so the help um, you have a heart sign and you have a fire sign so these are the help that is going to be coming up in the month of February you have the, the Empress which is the hurt sign that is balancing out and what she's basically doing is basically balancing out your materialistic world but you have to be careful off of the energy of the devil because the energy of the devil is um, it has to do with your materialistic world but also it has to do with all the significant things in your life so you have to be careful because people will be very deceptive in the month of um, um, February so you have to understand that and you have to make sure that you are um, working on a positive energy vibration because definitely the Empress with the devil that is saying that people um, are going to be trying um, to um, decept, de deceptive things like sending extra bills and that sort of a thing and uh, up in your bill and that sort of a thing so remember that February has the energy of the high princess 
um, but you're going to be dealing with the Empress and the devil because they're here to support you okay they're here to support you now whenever the energy of the Empress and the devil comes up you can see what is transpiring is that the Empress is always looking after your materialistic needs and want okay and the energy of the devil is always um, deception and people trying to get away with things and that sort of a energy that is coming up at you so you need to be um, very alert and very careful in the month of February and this is going to just affect everyone um, basically because this is a general reading it's just going to affect everyone so you have to be alert and um, stand your guard in the month of February okay just be alert and stand your guard in the month of February um, whatever the eye princess comes up this is secrets being revealed okay these are information coming out things that you weren't aware of these um, situation information is coming out things that you weren't aware of so um, you have to um, stand your guard um, um, unexpected um, um, situations will be coming out so you really have to stand your guard on this um, sort of a thing now the month of February has four weeks four weeks in the month of February um, the highest energies are coming up on Thursdays um, um, Thursdays is going to play a significant role the, those are um, when the energies are very high because the color is red um, Thursday and then um, Thursday and then we have on Sunday so Thursday and Sunday be aware of the energies on Thursday and Sunday the Elin day is going to be on Monday in this week it's very light Monday and and Sunday it's always very light but the Sunday the energies are very high on Sundays and Thursday Thursday the energies are so high um, they're 37.5 so you can see the shift of energy in this year as we go along um, um, be careful um, you guys because really there is a shift of energy that is coming up okay whatever um, this is all about there is really 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 um, some shift that is coming up and I'm trying to figure out where to get this information from um, so um be aligned and, and and you know be ready because um whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening there is really um some shift that is about to happen and you need to be aligned and you need to be focused um because what i'm realizing is that uh, um these energies are powerful that is coming in especially for this year so if you notice a lot of stuff I have changed up because um, of uh, what is transpiring basically is that there are just a shift if you notice the energy vibration of the weeks are also totally different from last year so you have to be aware of that okay um, Wow there is a lot of um, the green is um, the, the, the the form of prosperity but it's more in um, an energy of the blue which is the healing which is uh, the sky group in a peace finding in a peace and that is like 35 percent now the energy of red which is the highest form in um, and that is going to be on Thursday it's 10 percent so that's not bad prosperity and manifestation is very good in this month because it's 29 percent up so it's good so it's a month of healing and prosperity and manifestation now the eye energies is energies where people are going to be feeling bouncing off the energies so you have to be um very careful um in this month okay so we're going to go forward and we're going to be taking um a look at um what is going to be transpiring in the month of february okay so um in the month of february what we're having we're having water um uh, fire water and hurt okay so for you air sign people be aware um whatever is transpiring for you air sign people i don't know i fell asleep on my glasses <laughs> 
and um, so what is happening for you sun sign um, hair sign people it's going to be a weird month but um, what can balance you guys off is the zodiac energy for you air sign that is what is going to be balancing you air sign off in this month because what is transpiring is that you are going to be realizing that um, you're going to be bouncing off the wall but um, beginning of February um, the first two weeks of February it's going to be okay for you air signs people but um, as we change guards on I think it's the 20th of, uh, of February to the Pisces because the Pisces which is a water sign and there is two waters that is coming up so um, that's another situation which we have to look at so um, you know these are all the things that is happening and trust me um, these first three months of the year is going to be really um, a time where um, you really have to um, find in a balance um, to go through these first three months of the year okay so especially for you air sign people so um, Aquarius ends uh, um, on the 18th of February so um, two weeks in February it's going to be good for you air sign people because you have your own energy vibration so um, I wonder really what the, um, the moon energy is going to be all about because what is transpiring and what is here what you're seeing is basically that you're ending um, you're beginning the first two weeks of February is going to have to do with um, the zodiac energy of the here so that is going to be helping you Gemini's um, Gemini's um, uh, Aquarian Gemini's and Libra okay now as we look the energy of the moon is here the energy of the moon has to deal with the scorpions in the first week okay so in the first week um, we have the energy of the moon and it's dealing with the scorpions and sometimes the cancer depends on if the scorpions and the cancers are aligned with the same energy vibration um, it can affect them I'm seeing that these these are happening the last time so it's as if the cancers and the scorpions are basically working on the same energy vibration so we need to be aligned and we need to understand what is transpiring because there's a whole lot of things that is about to hit us okay so um, we need to be aware of this a whole lot of things about to hit us now the energy of the moon is in the first week so it's going to be a water energy so for the Pisces cancer and scorpion it's going to be a good um, a good week because the energy vibration of the month is the eye princess which is the energy of um, the Pisces okay so what is happening what is transpiring is that with the first week the energy of the moon is the energy of the scorpion always the energy of the scorpion sometimes the cancer energy comes up but it's always the energy of the scorpion so for the scorpions um, the first week is going to be something the second week is the energy of the Sun this is the energy of um, the Leo's okay or the Aries it can it depends but it is the Sun is always um, the energy because um, um, you know going back and doing research and um, looking at what is transpired because we have basically um, four fire sign which is the Aries Leo and, Sag and uh, Sagittarius and Ophiosus okay so the Ophiosus energy is the wheel of fortune they carries the energy of the wheel of fortune then we have again the Aries the Leo and the Sagittarius so and this is good as um, I look at this because um, there's a lot of people and um, yeah now um, let's just um, focus on um, what it is that that um, the, the right the correct way that is okay so um, what is transpiring what is happening is basically um, because the Ophiosus is the wheel of fortune okay Ophiosus is the wheel of fortune um, and then we have the energy of the Harry's and then the energy of the Leo's okay so um, um, what is happening with the energy of the Sun 
and this is very important for a lot of people um, to learn um, um, the layers what is good is the energy of the Sun um, return um, to Sagittarians so that's kind of you can all, are already seen the shift of this year because the energy of the Sun returned to the Sagittarius and it was uh, vibrating in the uh, uh, Pisces area um, tight span as the energy of um, Tinder so we have to be aware of that okay um, that is going to be something else judgment comes up so um, judgment is in the third week so that is another situation that is happening with the Pisces so the Pisces are going to be really affected um, in this month of February it's a, this month of February is really going to affect the Pisces okay so um, we have the scorpion in the first week second week we have the Sagittarians and uh, um, the third week we have again judgment the energy of the Pisces so um, this is really really a month that is uh, you guys are going to be affected and um, we're going to be looking in what areas now the energy of the world comes up in the fourth week because this month has four weeks and the energy of the world is always the energy of the Capricorns okay energy of the world is always the energy of the Capricorns and it's just a weird thing um, it's um yeah it's the energy of the Capricorn so the Empress is Capricorn and the world is a Capricorn so um, strange but uh, true and beautiful um, this month is going to be affecting um, especially these people so um, that's why I always say um, to a lot of people um, listen to the general energies because there are, there's always uh, um, information that is coming um, through the general energies that is going to be affecting you guys okay so we're going to do a breakdown because we're already at 17 minutes <laughs> oh but there's just so much um to say we're already at 17 minutes but there's just so much to say okay so all right let's um let's see what is transpiring and what is happening I'm going to do the general readings just the friends okay so the energy of the moon and the Sun what that does that have to do um, the energy of the moon and the Sun the daughter of Pentacles there is the energy of the daughter of Pentacles now the daughter of Pentacles is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person between the ages of 18 and 45 moon and the Sun has to do with an healing that is about to transpire for um, the Capricorns between the ages of uh, 18 and 45 so whatever is transpiring from the first week going in the second week it's going to affect the Capricorn so um, you um, Capricorn stars are um, Virgo okay so um, this is going to affect the earth sign people so from the ending of the first week going to the second week it's going to affect the earth sign people so be aware of this and it's going to be affected more younger people okay more younger people it's going to be affecting more younger people so um, be aware of that then we have the energy of the ace of cups which is beautiful this is wonderful and this is very very beautiful and wonderful energy of the Sun comes out and uh, um, there's someone who really really cares about you and really going to let you know so this is positive um, this month is not looking that bad because the second week going in the third week there is going to be information coming at you and it's all about love it's all about you um, sitting and protecting someone and someone is going to be doing it in the return for you so this is this is excellent and this is beautiful okay this is really excellent and it's really beautiful so let's see what else is coming out we have the energy of judgment and the world judgment and the world judgment and the world and we have the energy of the full and new start and this is going to be wonderful so this is really really positive whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring this is really positive because what is transpiring is that 
there are healing there are newness there are new start there are positive wonderful healing and new start that is going on and you can see the energy of judgment and the world and this energy of judgment and the world is bringing positive news so it's not going to be a bad month it's going to be really of one of those um, very very um, positive month that is going to be coming in for you guys so this is going to be good wonderful um, wonderful energies it's, it's really positive um, these situations are really positive they're really good and they're really going to be aligning you um, in this month whatever the situation is now the um, daughter of Pentacles which is um, a lot of young people are going to be affected the four of Pentacles is here um, this is wonderful this is another wonderful energy so in the second week um, we are going to be having situation where you're balancing off of financial um, situation so this is going to be good this is not looking um, this month is really really looking um, um, extremely um, extremely positive we have some judgment call in the third week and um, it's set the energy of the hangman so there's a lot of major arcana that is coming up because this is the energy of the year and there's a lot of hangman energies that is coming up so this is wonderful and this is positive so whatever is transpiring or whatever is happening these situations are going to be aligning in a beautiful way um, so let's see um, what is um, the outcomes of the month of February for you guys what is the energy of the outcomes for the month of February 2019 um, the Sun of swords in reverse the sun of swords in reverse okay so this is good so whatever that was working whatever that was transpiring whatever that is happening um you are dealing with the energy of the sun of swords in reverse and this is um basically a good way um to release um the energies of whatever that was happening because um whenever the sun of swords is in reverse that means whatever the situation and this is going to affect um, you um, you um, Aquarian Gemini's or, or Libra um, so you guys are going to be a little bit off um, in the month of February so you have to be understanding and aligning with the energies because here you are seeing um, that you guys are going to be a little bit off okay alrighty so um, um, obviously um, the month of um, obviously um, the month of uh, whatever is transpiring in um, this um, month of uh, February whatever is transpiring in this month of February um, it's going to be um, the energy of love is in the middle and that is really really wonderful okay the energy of love is in the middle and that is really really wonderful Oh. So, do not be alarmed. It's um the beginning of the year. The guards have changed. Um. So um, oops, don't be alarmed, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, I have a deck that I um I got. I'm still trying to figure out this deck um, in the sense that I'm not sure but I'm still trying to figure it out so let's um, do this this deck is uh, the divine energy Oracle okay and the divine energy Oracle has a lot to do with um, specific information okay so we call them up in the angels and guides to show us um, um, for all the four signs um, what is the energy for the month of February for all the four signs so first we're going to be looking at the air sign as usual um, the air sign so for the air sign laugh at your demons laugh at your demon so if you're an air sign obviously because you guys are going to be having really um, a rough time and um, the universal angels is saying laugh at your demons just laugh at your demons okay so um, so we're first doing the air sign people 
laugh at your demons okay so we're going to be looking and seeing what is um, the message so um, when they say laugh at your demon and again this is um, the first time I just got it in my in the week for my birthday I always go to um, um, and I like the box I am still trying to work with them okay laugh at your demons are you um, judging yourself or another too harshly have you temporarily lost your sense of humor are you afraid of being rejected or misunderstood this leading you to reject and misunderstand those around you the truth is there and it's not bad um, guilt on the sense be aware not to misread the situation or take yourself too serious at any moment now is the time to gain um, um, perseverance and see the humor in what is temporary causing you distress no one is trying to hurt you relax and breathe see things from others point of view this will bring about um, understanding now your divine energy is calling you to restrain your criticism ego and return to love of your higher self listen up and see the humor in the present situation relax and laugh a little it will shed light on the moment and open the way for healing and progress so that is a message from your divine energies now the divine invitation is break free of your psychic uh, your psychic bondage that arise from your overwhelming judgmental ego and free yourself and this is for the air people okay so let's um, and, and and that's it um, and this is for the the air people so um, let's see what's coming up for the hurt people for the month of February 2019 and if you notice I'm breaking it down um, in um, art sign and so so for what's coming up for the Taurus Virgo and Capricorns for the month of February we have count your blessings count your blessings so whatever the situation is I want each and every one to count the blessing count the blessing of waking up every morning and that you have something to eat um, you have your work to go if you don't have your work to go that you have something to fulfill your time try and find um, different situation different um, things to um, do and fulfill your time at this moment and you're going to see just by counting your blessings um, you are going to be coming out on top and this is going to be beautiful for you earth sign people so the month of February is for you earth sign people is to count your blessings count your blessings okay so let's see what is happening for um, the fire sign people for the month of February rejuvenation rejuvenation and the Sun comes out for you fire sign people so um, for you Aries Leo and Sagittarius and all you so, so the second week of February is going to be very very positive and very beautiful for you this is wonderful okay so rejuvenation it means take some time to regain energy and revamp yourself and energize yourself before you move on and this is going to be powerful okay now as we look for the water sign so what's coming up for the water sign what's coming up for the water sign what's coming up for the water sign in the month of February make necessary sacrifice make necessary sacrifice so whatever the situation is is that um, you water signs needs to make the necessary sac sac um, necessary sacrifice and as you do that you're going to be opening up a new door of energy that is going to be coming in and this is going to be very powerful okay so that was beautiful now um um, for um, a personalized reading if you'd like to have a monthly readings I start doing I started doing monthly readings because I saw the need of it so you can always order your monthly readings it's just $60 um, and I want to say to each and every person go listen to your own zodiac um, energy sign and uh, um, I still keep the price at a dollar ninety nine for the extended reading a dollar ninety nine for the extended reading it's going to stay at that 
um, and pick up your extended reading for the moon and the moon readings are very important the monthly and the moons are very important because it guides you it gives you guideline of what is about to happen so ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you so much and um, I am saying to you namaste until next time